As more information slowly leaks out about the new Babylon 5 animated movie, I can finally tell you a few little bits of information I had shared with me nearly six months ago. Welcome to Sidetrack, your sci-fi TV and movie channel. So yes, just before Christmas, a source that I speak to quite a bit that actually works in marketing mostly, actually leaked this information to me that there was going to be a Babylon 5 animated movie. Now, I couldn't actually tell you at that point anything. I was pretty much sworn to secrecy. And really, there was only quite a small number of people that knew this project was happening. Also, I don't want JMS to get angry at me. So I decided... I was going to leave this alone. Also, you know, I need sources to trust me. So at the end of the day, if a source says you can't share this, I can't share it. Now that the source has told me that I can tell you what we discussed, I'm going to be able to tell you a few little bits of information, including what the budget of this movie is going to be, how and when it will be released, and hopefully a little bit of information about how it might actually be linked to the reimagined live action project that JMS is also planning. So, finally, Warner Brothers announced The Road Home, the Babylon 5 animated movie we've been quite excited about over the last week. So, thanks to The Hollywood Reporter, we do know a few details about what this movie is going to actually be. It's going to be set through multiple timelines and multiple realities. John Sheridan is going to be finding his way through those realities to find his way home. But before I tell you how I think this is going to be linked to the now reimagined live action Babylon 5 series, we're hoping to get as soon as the writer's strike is resolved. I want to tell you about how this is going to be released. Apparently, this will be released on a special edition Blu-ray. It will also be released on um, those streaming services you get, you know, like direct pay download ones. Here in the UK, it'll be through Amazon um, and Sky. That Basically, you pay to rent or buy a digital copy of the video. I don't know who supplies that sort of deal in the United States, but I'm sure you guys will get in the comments and tell me. Um, I know HBO have one um, potential service that that can go through. And then eventually, assuming based on how sales go, it will end up on a streaming platform, probably Max. But as far as I am aware, that hasn't actually been decided just yet. That will very much relate on how well the actual movie does through these other mediums. I can also tell you that the budget is going to be somewhere in the region of three million to four million dollars. Now, this is what I was told uh, as, as a before Christmas. My understanding is that the project wasn't actually complete at that point or it was still going through editing and etc. So that is a little bit vague. But three to four million dollars is roughly kind of the ballpark that Warner Brothers pay for other projects. So the DC Batman animated movies do tend to come in more about five to six million dollar budget but three to four is more than enough for a project of this nature to do something really exciting with so six seven months ago i was actually told that this animated project was going to be a bridge between the babylon 5 original series and this new reimagined series that jms is putting together now it doesn't seem that that's going to be quite true but it's kind of. So I was actually told that it was going to be a direct bridge, as I said. So something that would lead from Babylon 5 into this new project. Now, I discussed this with the source at the time, and I said well, it's going to have to be multiple timelines or multiple realities or something then. A character from the, say, classic Babylon 5 um, period is going to have to travel into this new mirror universe. Now, I very much made the comparisons between Star Trek there. I made the mirror universe or some of those other sort of dimensions. Um, in Stargate as well, we've seen that through um, certain episodes where we've seen that multiple dimensions and multiple realities. Now, it seems that this Babylon 5 movie is going to be actually a standalone movie. So, JMS has talked about this in a few of his tweets, basically saying that if you are not a massive Babylon 5 fan, you're still going to be able to watch this and enjoy it. But actually, there'll be enough there for the hardcore fans as well. Now, that's a very sensible way to do this. 
bring in and excite the fans, but also hopefully introduce Babylon 5 to a whole new batch of fans. Now, that says to me, though, that even though this might give us hints of where he's going with the reimagined live action series, and we might even actually see snippets of it. For example, one of the realities that Sheridan then visits will probably end up being the reality we then see in the live action series. I don't think from what JMS has said that it is this complete bridge into it, like a two hour advert for the then live action series. I don't think that's what JMS has planned. But it would seem that actually this multiple realities and multiple dimensions storyline that JMS again has mentioned in his tweets would give you a perfect window into the reimagined project. Now, some people are very nervous about this idea of a reimagined Babylon 5. And I have to admit, I don't blame them. I can't really tell you when this type of thing when a show has been rebooted has ever been successful but I'm not sure I can ever tell you when it's ever been done by the original creator either I can't think of any off the top of my head so for the original creator to get another chance and what he has said in tweets a couple of times now is basically that he wants to do Babylon 5 now with all of his experience since so if he was doing Babylon 5 now with a clean slate, what would he do different? And that's the way he's approached it. So to me, that's a fascinating idea and a fascinating project. I can, I can, if, if this was me, if I was JMS, I could imagine just this being, you know, just like a, a whole new world. Actually getting a project that you adore and that you had five brilliant years with, but with modern special effects, modern CGI and a whole world you know a, a lifetime almost of experiences new experiences to draw upon now i think that's going to be very exciting and also anybody that sort of says well this is going to be a woke pile of nonsense like everything else coming out of hollywood at the moment you have to trust jms on this one jms at the end of the day is the guy that did the original that we loved so much Maybe he's going to frame it in a new world. Fair enough. There's probably going to be bits in there that the people that do get angry about Woke won't like. But at the end of the day, JMS used to push boundaries before, and I'm sure he's going to push them again. I trust JMS to do something here that's really, really exciting. Finally, do I actually think this is going to be any good? Well, I'm not the biggest fan of what Warner Brothers has done with DC but I am a fan of what they've done with the animated DC. Warner Brothers Animated Studios, who is producing this movie, has a pretty good history of making some really brilliant, particularly Batman, DC animated movies. They tend to be very high quality. They tend to be quite interesting storylines, and they really do explore lots of different ideas regarding, again, I'm thinking more about Batman here, the different aspects of the character. They have the skills and the people to really do something that is of a very high quality. So am I worried about Warner Brothers Animation Studios doing Babylon 5? No, I'd be more worried about them doing the live action series, particularly if JMS wasn't involved. But an animated movie, yeah, I think that's going to be very, very cool. Again, this will be for adults. It's not going to be for children. It will be direct to Blu-ray. So again, I'm expecting to get loads and loads behind the scenes stuff and extras. And I really do think this is something that the Babylon 5 series deserves. And with JMS at the helm, I have absolutely no concerns. So this is going to be something very, very cool. And I will be buying the Blu-ray the second it hits stores. I might even buy two copies and give one away to you lovely people. So get into the comments. Tell me what you think. Is this a project you're excited about? Does the budget sound about right to you? Does the idea of this, at least in some ways, linking to the reimagined live action series that JMS is planning make sense? Also, what are you hoping for when it comes to this project? And what are you worried about? Get into the comments and tell me exactly what you think.
If you are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. It really helps us out. And you will never miss any of our new videos. Also, you can go to patreon.com forward slash sidetrack where most of our new videos do drop first. And that you can see for a small contribution each month that really supports the channel without the adverts. As always, please stay safe. I'll see you next time.